governor of the great state of West Virginia has joined us, Governor Jim Justice. Good morning, Governor. How are you? Happy. I'm doing good. How are you doing? I'm doing great. It's good to have you here. Governor, do you support or oppose the strike by teachers and service workers? Well, Happy, not to dance around your question in any way, but uh, I sent up a clean education bill. I know how well our state's doing. I know that we want to reward education, and I know that for good or for bad, I've been the single proponent of education in every way since the day I walked in the door. I said education should be our centerpiece. And really, at the end of the day, what is going on here, to me, is counterproductive to what we should do, and absolutely we should have moved this thing through. You know where I stand on every single issue, and now we've got a situation to where our kids are out of school, you know, parents are, are disrupted. We've got, you know, teachers and, and educators and service personnel that are unhappy. And I go back to the one word that I've said over and over. Why? Why? There's no question there's things within the new bill that are good things. But we, we really didn't need to just wave a red flag right in front of the bull and just cause a problem like this. You know, this, I mean, you talk about blowing our own legs off. We've got a state that was DOA, bankrupt. We've got economic prosperity. We're building roads. We're com doing commitments to veterans, education, all the good stuff. And now we're back, you know, in the limelight of the nation and everything else. And it's, gonna, it, it's not the right thing to do. What we should have done, and, and, and I should have been consulted over and over and over. You know, I've told you that I would be against charter schools unless we came up with two to three that were just pilot schools. We've got seven now, and I know that two of them can be the Mountaineer Academy and can be the school for the deaf and dumb. I've got all of that and everything, or, 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 or the deaf and blind, deaf rather. And blind. You know, pl please forgive me. You know, that was terrible. You know, but the, but the long and the short of it is just, just simply just this. Why? Why are we doing this? So, you believe, so do you believe that the Senate Republicans of your party made a mistake when they passed out the bill yesterday that expanded charter schools to seven and include education savings accounts? Do you believe the Senate made a mistake? I think they've made a monstrous mistake. Yeah. So based on that, I will go back to the original question then and put you on the spot. Are, did teachers do the right thing or the wrong thing by going on strike? I wish to goodness that, that uh, they had maybe let the system play out further. But at the same time, these people are very concerned about, you know, what they do in life. And, and we shouldn't be judgmental of what they decide to do to, to exercise their voice. I mean, they are perfectly entitled to exercise their voice. I wish we weren't on strike. I wish we were, you know, perpetuating this great state in every way, shape, form, or fashion. But they have every right to exercise their voice, and I still do not have any clue why we put paycheck protection and non-severability. If, we if we were going to stand with that, why didn't we stand with it? Why did we just put it in there? Why did we put it in there and then decide, no, we're going to go away from it? I mean, if, if truly, truly that was the wishes of the Senate Republicans, then they should have stayed with it. But those things, as you know, those things are out of there now. The things that uh, raised the most objections initially, the paycheck protection is out of there. The non-severability issue is out of there. Uh, those things are all gone. So didn't that make, I mean, the last time we talked, I thought that that made the bill more palatable to you, to have a couple of charter schools, and I, I forget where you were on ESAs, but to have some additional choice for parents. Well, I mean, as far as the ESAs, I mean, let, let's just be real. You know, there's only just a very small handful full of states that have them. You know, it, it, you know, the education community feels threatened by them. Again, I go back up to just this. Why in the world are we, you know, are we continuing to just 
push the limits and irritate people and everything and what are we really getting out of it you know and 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 i go back to the i go back to the paycheck protection and non-severability if we were real really willing and i'm being the senate now if we were willing to just back away from it then why did we put it out there i mean for crying out loud please explain to me just why we are absolutely just stirring in the pot to be stirring in the pot. Governor Jim Justice is with us. Governor, it looks like, I mean, this bill as it passed the Senate is going over to the House. There are a couple of options which we're going to talk about on the show today. One is they simply reject it because they know they don't have the votes in the House now to pass that bill. The other is they send it back to the Senate and it goes to a conference committee. But i got to tell you, I think the bill as it exists now is probably dead. Probably. Now, weird things can happen. Probably. But where do we go from here? How do we salvage this? How do you get a bill that improves education, satisfies both parties, gets teachers and service workers back to work as soon as possible? You're the governor. What leadership can you provide? How do we fix this? Well, in all honesty, I've got to be the coach. I've got to be the leader. And I, and I stand ready to meet with all parties and try to push this thing right across the finish line. I'm the guy that is absolutely the advocate of education in every way, shape, form, or fashion, but, but I will absolutely meet with any and everybody to shove this thing across the finish line. The net of the whole thing, as far as I'm concerned, is we need to go back to a clean bill. Now, the other thing is just this. People say, say to me, well, well, Governor, you know, you said maybe you were in favor of a couple of pilot, you know, charter schools and everything that wouldn't hurt. Or you said you were in favor of the, you know, incentivizing math teachers. Well, absolutely I'm in favor of that and everything. But if you come to me and you say, Governor, there's not really any difference between two and seven, there is a difference. And, and, I, and I am absolutely going to stand by the truth. And if it comes right down to it, and I would have to veto that, I'd veto it. Okay, so the bill that passed the Senate that is going to the House, and I think it's going to run into deep trouble in the House, you would veto that bill as it, as it exists today if it got to you? I would. Okay. Yeah.